U.S. Customs is one of the largest data collectors in the world. And from my experience, what I'm seeing is that Customs is doing a really good job at analyzing that data, identifying the risks, and targeting the shipments that are the most risky for noncompliance. And I actually personally feel that Customs is ahead technologically in analyzing that data than most of the trade, than most of our competitors. And that's one of the reasons I decided to join Flexport, is because I see what they do, what they're doing, and as Justin will say, as we talk, as he start, talks a little, little bit, some of the things that we're doing with the data today, I hope that you're going to find are as amazing as what I'm seeing. So I wanted to go over a few different strategies just to give you a flavor of some of the types of things that companies can do and some of the types of things that I've helped clients with in order to save on the tariffs that they're paying. So the first example I like to use here, what you see is um, uh, denim being made into blue jeans. And so when you're making a product like women's blue jeans and you're making them in China, and you realize that your duty rate today is twice what it was, and that to import that $100,000 worth of blue jeans, you're going to be paying $30,000 to import those because of the country of origin is China. And so one of the questions that comes to me is, what can I do to avoid paying that? Well, one of the things you can do is you can pick up your production and move it out of China and move it into another country. But what does that mean? The savvy importer, the importer that understands the data, will understand that the rules of origin for a pair of blue jeans says that the country of origin is determined by where the jeans are sewn. And so what that savvy importer is going to do is they're going to buy their fabric in China because it may be less expensive. And then they're going to take that fabric and they're going to sew their blue jeans in another country. And because they're sewing them in another country, the country of origin is that other country. It's not China and they avoid the 25% duty. But the really savvy importer is going to go in and take a look and go, you know what? I'm going to buy that fabric in China. I'm going to send it to a cutting house where they're going to cut it into the individual panels of the pair of pants. They're going to sew the back two panels together and put the pockets on the back panels. They're going to sew the front two panels together, put in the fly. They're going to sew the waistband and put in the belt loops on the top of the waistband, all in China, because it's a lower cost country for them to do that. They're going to send all those components to a third country, let's say Vietnam, where in Vietnam they'll finish the sewing. And that changes the country of origin. So that really savvy company is able to maximize on the savings by understanding the rules, by understanding the opportunities. 